Hey, it's Steven. In this video, I'm gonna run water through an air cylinder. Why am I doing this? Well, I was curious. And it's a good way to show the similarities and differences between hydraulic power and air power. First, I wanna check the water pressure at my house. So it's about 60 PSI. Now I'm gonna see how much weight 60 PSI of water can lift in this double rod cylinder. One kilogram. No problem. Now let's try five pounds. So the water had no problem with the five pounds. 10 pounds on the cylinder with 60 PSI of water. No problem. 15 pounds. Nope, can't do it. Both air and water are fluids. You're probably thinking air is a gas, not a fluid. But in reality, both gases and liquids are classified as fluids. They're both made up of loosely organized molecules and they flow when under pressure. I'll test this same setup with air in a minute. So 60 PSI is cool, but we can do a little better. I think I wanna turn the pressure up to 100 PSI. Obviously, I'm gonna need another pressure source for the water. So here's water at 100 PSI. Now I'm sure it can do the 15 pounds, right? 20 pounds. No problem with the 20 pounds. 25 pounds. Can't quite get there. 100 PSI is 100 PSI, regardless of the type of fluid. If 100 PSI of water can lift a certain weight, then 100 PSI of air should be able to lift that same amount of weight. But let's take a look. We'll first try it with 20. Can't handle the 25 pounds. So both air and water could lift the 20 pounds, but not the 25 pounds. The difference between the two has to do with compressibility. Water is effectively incompressible. We cannot compact the molecules anymore. Air is compressible. Because air moves very quickly ooh, and is compressible, the air pressure in the cylinder needs to equalize with the force being applied to it. This can cause a springy response. What's the advantage of using water? Liquid moves slower, but it's more positionally stable and this is preferred in many applications. A couple disadvantages of water in the cylinder are that you need a reservoir, or in my case, a water bucket. This is to gather all of the return fluid. Also, water is corrosive for metals, especially for steel. So definitely only do this with a cheap cylinder. 